We got our official July numbers in from Westover. No surprise, it was an incredibly wet month. It was also slightly warmer than normal. Unsurprising since we had so much humidity out there, there was lots of storminess and the heat and humidity kind of helped with that. So temperatures were about two degrees above normal, but the rain, that's the biggest stat, of course. You know, we ended up with uh, almost 10 inches of rain for the month. It puts us at the third wettest July on record for Westover, and those records go back to 1941. Taking a look at the month of August, our Average high starts off around 85, just like today. By the end of the month, we're down to about 79. Our average low goes from 60 to 56. So overnight temperatures don't really vary a whole lot. Every now and then you get your fall previews, but overall it tends to be a pretty warm month. We do end up losing more daylight. We're seeing that happen a lot faster now, actually. Uh, the sunrise time right now is 543, and the sunset is 809. By the end of the month, our sunset time is down before 730. That's always a little tough. Now, the August night sky is going to be full of a lot of great things to check out tonight. We have our full sturgeon moon. By the end of the month, we actually have our second full moon. Whenever you get two full moons in one month, the second one is called a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. There you go. Uh, that happens on August 30th, and it's actually going to be a super moon as well as tonight's full moon, so a little bit bigger than normal. Right in the middle of the month, August 13th in the morning, we have the peak of the Perseid meteor shower, so make sure that you check that out. Some beautiful conditions right now. Checking out our Agawam sky cam. I mean, just a couple of scattered clouds, lots of blue sky. It's cooler than normal. It's dry and refreshing. Again, feels more like September. Some 60s and lower 70s getting into parts of northern New England. And dew points are also very low, ranging in the 40s. So with clear skies tonight, calm wind as high pressure builds in, the temperature should be able to get that low. So it's going to be a little chilly tonight. Scattered clouds just, you know, from the daytime heating will eventually diminish tonight. No wet weather expected. Year 24 showing some pretty pleasant conditions this evening. Once the sun goes down, we do cool off in a hurry again with the help of light calm wind. By midnight, we're already seeing middle 50s, and then by sunrise, again, some 40s are expected across a good chunk of the area. These models typically too warm in a situation where we have what we call radiational cooling. Clear sky, calm wind, dry air in place, temperatures in the valley especially can drop like a rock. So tomorrow morning, might need the sweatshirt. But we'll have a fast warm-up with full sunshine, and it'll feel a lot like today. Middle to upper 70s for highs. We may see a few spots get to around 80. Breezes out of the north, still very dry and comfortable, and skies will turn partly cloudy by the afternoon. So some big temperature swings as high pressure actually builds in overhead. Uh, 40s in the morning to, you know, middle and upper 70s in the afternoon. Good swing. Breezes are still light out of the north northwest tomorrow. They do increase a bit Thursday out of the south, and that's going to start bringing up the humidity a bit. That trend will continue into Friday, and it comes with our next round of wet weather. So the dew point forecast, you can see that climb back up into those muggy levels for Friday. Friday looking a little steamy, but then just as dramatic, the drop off as we hit the weekend. So it might be a little bit muggy on Saturday, but drier air should build in through Sunday. Now we are expecting most of the wet weather to come in Friday, but Thursday night a warm front approaches, so there could be an isolated shower or thunderstorm late in the day. Friday is the day that's looking more unsettled, not a total washout, but I think we'll have a chance for some showers, some scattered thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon and evening as our cold front moves through. At the moment, not looking like anything severe, but we definitely could end up with a soaking. Rainfall amounts could potentially top an inch or more. Now, the weekend is looking rain-free, but next week trending a bit more humid. Temperatures still a little cooler than normal, and there are a few shower chances. Back to you guys. Jennifer.